We are now getting our first detailed look at some of the evidence authorities say they have gathered against the suspect in the murders of four Idaho college students. Just hours after his extradition from Pennsylvania to Idaho, Brian Koberger appeared in court where a probable cause affidavit was unsealed. Gotti Schwartz explains the DNA trail allegedly linking a knife sheath to the suspect. As Idaho murder suspect Brian Koberger appeared in court. Count two alleges that you committed the felony offense of murder in the first degree. Tonight, chilling new details revealed about the massacre investigators say he carried out in the dead of night. According to court documents, one of the surviving roommates in the house was awake and heard noises coming from upstairs. At one point, hearing someone say, there's someone here. That's when she opened the door, heard crying coming from Zana's room, and a male voice saying, it's okay, I'm going to help you. Minutes later, she saw the unknown man wearing black clothing and a mask walk past her. She stood in frozen shock and locked herself in her room. Why 911 wasn't called for hours remains unclear. Police say the killer stabbed all four victims on the top two floors of the home, but left DNA on a knife sheath found on the bed next to victim Madison Mogan. Police linking the DNA to Koberger after taking a sample from trash from his parents' house in Pennsylvania. According to police, Koberger's phone records place him near the house of the four victims on at least 12 occasions prior to the murder, most in the late evening or early morning hours. The night of the killing, his cell phone did not register on any towers, leading investigators to believe he turned his cell phone off between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., the same time of the murders. Investigators first used surveillance video of the area to connect the homicide to a white Hyundai Elantra, later located on the WSU campus just 15 minutes from the crime scene. Police say the suspect changed his license plate and registration for the white Elantra just five days after the killings. I have a court appointed counsel. His public defender saying he intends to plead not guilty. Today in court, the PhD criminology student responding to limited questions. Do you understand? Yes. Saying yes each time he was asked if he understood that a conviction could lead to life in prison or death. It's obviously an emotional time for the family seeing the defendant for the first time. Um, this is the beginning of the criminal justice system, and the family will, will be here for the long haul. Koberger expected to be back in court next Thursday, as tonight, victims' families pray for justice.